What is your favourite Christmas song or carol? Oh, Holy Night. Is that the one? The first Noel. Driving Home for Christmas, Chris Rea. Oh, Come, O Come, Emmanuel is my favourite. The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. What's the one by Wizard? I love Last Christmas. I wish it could be Christmas oh, every ah. day. If you could be any character in a Christmas movie, who would it be? I'd be Elf, because he's just so excited all the time. I think it might be fun to be in Home Alone. With Kayleigh Corkin. Is that his name? No. I've always liked the idea of being Kevin McAllister. Kevin McAllister. You'd hate to be home alone. You hate being alone on your own. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> what is the best Christmas food ever? Everything. I'm always partial to mince pies. I think it's a chocolate orange. That's <laughs> Stuffing. Yeah. Pigs and blankets and the Quality Street orange and strawberry creams. Christmas cake. Oh yes, cheese. Christmas cake and Cheshire cheese. Christmas pudding. Love Christmas pudding. With cream and rum butter. Are there any unusual Christmas traditions in your house? My dad read us the night before Christmas until we were in our actual 20s. Do you like to watch films? Our family love watching The Muppets Christmas Carol. This is really bad, but I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> we play a game on Christmas Day where everyone gets wet. Go round and if, if you guess the same thing, then you just get water chucked on you. Isn't, doesn't everyone do that? Surely. Did the first Christmas really change the world? Yes, it did. I mean, 2,000 years later, we're still celebrating it. We changed the calendar, didn't we, when Jesus was born? That's really interesting. So why is it for everybody that that is the, the calendar? Before Christ, and then AD, after Christ. Well, that's quite significant, isn't it? The world is a definitely a before and after. It had such an effect over the whole world, eventually, that um, it needed marking. If you could have been a fly on the wall at any point in the Christmas story, when would it have been? I think I would have wanted to have been there when the angel told Mary. Like, actually thinking about how scary that must have been. To know her when she was carrying Jesus, or before she gave birth, but that part of her journey. And listened to some of the conversations that went on between Joseph and Mary. I'd quite like to know whether the innkeeper actually said there is no room in the inn. I think right after the bath, Birth would be really, really interesting. <laughs> bath. <laughs> I think that would be a lovely yeah, moment. That that's be... a lovely moment for anybody. Yeah. To, that brand new baby, like so special. But if it's like the most special baby of all time. Yeah. Mary, managing with almost nothing to look after her baby. When the angels appeared to the shepherds, I would have liked to have seen. In the that. nighttime darkness, yeah. and they're all sort of yeah. slumbering around, and then this brilliance. Mm. Why did God choose to be born as a human baby? He could have come as a king, of course he could, but actually it wouldn't have been quite so significant. God wanted us to be able to relate. So we know when our baby cries that Jesus cried and that he understands a mother's heart, he understands a father's heart, but he understands a child's cry. It's quite important when you look at it from, from the end point of where everything is going to, going to end up. Jesus came as a sacrifice for us. There was this promise that the Messiah would come, the King would come. People had been waiting for that promise to be fulfilled. 30 odd years later, that's what he did. He died to pay the price for our sin. He really is the light of the world. Light banishes darkness. When you strike a light, it pushes the darkness away. And if you think of life on Earth as being fairly dark. I think it's more than just that, isn't it? It's not more than just like unpleasantness, it's that sort of emptiness. It needed Jesus to pay a price later on in life on the cross to forgive us. What does Christmas mean to you? Happy times. Hard work. Being your own family. Food. It is meant to be a feast. The, the Jewish nation still has feasts where they celebrate things today. A reminder of hope, of light of the world, a hope and again time of reflection. Joy in the birth of Jesus and joy with spending time with people that you love. A true reminder of you know, how God always keeps his promises. Talking about our best gifts we've ever been given, nobody could really compare yeah. to being given the gift of Jesus. Yeah. He's the ultimate gift. You, you just can't better it. And yes. you have to receive that gift from him and accept it. We try and celebrate because we of all people have got something really worth celebrating.